The wise woman of Glencoe was named Corag. She lived alone in the mountains, though the people of the Glen would come to her for help with charms and medicines and to ask her to foretell their futures. Early in the year 1692, Corag had a terrible vision, though none had asked her to look. A vision of destruction and absolute ruin for the people of the Glen. She travelled down through the snows from her mountain home to warn her neighbours, but the story she had to tell was so dreadful that it could not be believed by those who heard it. Late in January of that year, Robert Campbell of Glen Lyon arrived in Glencoe with his soldiers and a letter from the government saying that they should stay there and the cost of their bed and board would be counted as taxes paid. He was welcomed by McKeon, the chief of the Macdonalds of Glencoe, as he was a kinsman, Campbell's son being married to a niece of McKeon. The soldiers stayed for some time, but then on the 12th day of February, new orders arrived, carried by a Captain Thomas Drummond. On the morning of the 13th, the horror that Corrig had foreseen engulfed the Glen. The Macdonalds of Glencoe were slain where they stepped, or driven out into the snow and the hills to starve and to freeze. Corag came down from her mountain home later that very day and saw her terrible vision had come true. McKeon had been murdered as he rose from his bed and his broadsword still lay there. Corag took up the sword and carried it to Loch Leven. She threw it into the waters saying, So long as this sword lays undisturbed by man, no man from this glen will die by the sword again. And so the sword lay still, protecting the men of the glen through the Battle of Culloden, through the fields of Waterloo, through Balaclava. But in the summer of 1916, a dredger was sent to Loch Leven to dig out a channel for larger ships to travel there. On the night of June 30th, one of the crew of the dredger came into a local bar, showing off an old sword that had been lifted from the loch that day. And the next day was the 1st of July, 1916 the day on which the terrible Battle of the Somme began. <laughs>